Fifty years ago, India conducted its first nuclear test in Pokhran, codenamed Operation Smiling Buddha. With this, India had entered the League of Nations with nuclear capabilities. Always look back before going forward, they say. So we turn the pages of the Hindu's archives to look back at history. An article dated May 19, 1974, says India successfully conducted an underground test with plutonium device in 10 to 15 kiloton range. It also adds that the then chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission, Dr. H. N. Sethna, and director of the Papa Atomic Research Center, Dr. R. Ramana, who supervised the test, flew to Delhi even without a wash or change to give a full account to Prime Minister Indra Gandhi. India said that it undertook this program to develop its own technology for peaceful use of nuclear energy and it had no intention of going in for nuclear weapons. The groundwork for testing nuclear energy was laid even earlier by renowned Indian scientists Homi G. Bhabha and Vikram Sarabhai. In 1954, the Department of Atomic Energy was founded with Bhabha as director. With Smiling Buddha, India became the first nation to conduct a nuclear test apart from the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. After the nuclear test, there were criticisms that it was an attempt to divert people's attention from the economic crisis the country was facing in the 1970s. However, the Atomic Energy Commission chairman said that it was his decision and that there was no political motive. Even a New York Times article said that such great talent of resources has been squandered on the vanity of power, while 600 million Indians slip deeper into poverty. India also faced significant criticism from many countries, including Pakistan, United States of America, and Canada. India did not carry out further nuclear tests until 1998. In 1998, under the leadership of Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, India conducted a series of nuclear tests in Pokhran once again, both named Operation Shakti. With this, India declared itself a full-fledged nuclear state.